Hey guys, welcome to today's video, Ask and You Shall Receive. I recently asked you guys in a poll on the YouTube community tab what video you wanted to see next, and the votes were pretty much unanimous. You all wanted to see my entire blush and bronzer collection, and it is quite the collection. To me, I would call this massive. It might be small compared to some other larger influencers. Um, obviously, I don't really get sent a ton of PR, a lot of stuff I really do purchase just on my own. As you can see, I have everything kind of laid out behind me here. So obviously I'll be moving the camera over here in this direction so you guys can get an overhead view. So enough chatter. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And let me show you my crazy blush and bronzer collection. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I have everything laid out here. We're just gonna go ahead and go through each and every item, almost doing like kind of like a mini review, so to speak, but let's go ahead and start with the bronzers. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently just talked about this. I just got this in the mail yes yesterday. This is from e.l.f. This is their Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. Don't wanna open this and swatch it or do anything with it just yet because I do wanna hold on and wait for that full face of elf makeup so leave a comment down below and let me know if that is something that you would like to see but i'm really excited to try these i mean primer infused that sounds pretty legit and the reviews online looked really good so yeah we'll have to see how good that is from chanel this was my favorite like all-time favorite cream bronzer for the longest time pretty much the first time i used it i became obsessed the reason why i'm trying to fall a little bit out of love with it is because they did change the formulation and a lot of my subscribers did let me know that when I uploaded my high-end favorites and I'm an idiot I put this in here backwards and I'm trying to get there we go a little cover out this color is just perfection for a bronzer absolutely fantastic I was happy that they changed the formula for a hot minute because there is parabens in this formula but they replaced it with coconut oil I'm like I'm not too happy because I don't like coconut oil on my skin so whatever I still love it I'm just really sad that they couldn't have come up with something different <laughs> then we have the morphe glamour bronze bronzers I have three of these bad boys um, I did buy two in the same shade and that is in the color icon when I first reviewed this blush when morphe launched this whole bronze collection last summer I was obsessed Obsessed. Like this was my go-to powder bronzer. I didn't want to use or touch anything else. And when I heard that it was limited edition, they were doing a so quote unquote one time restock. I bought a second one for fear of not having this bronzer again. And then I also picked up one in the next darkest shade, which was in the shade Megastar. This one is a little dark for me, but nonetheless, it's still, it's still a really good bronzer. Sometimes I like to mix the two when I have a little bit more sun or a little bit more color to my skin. I do like to mix the two shades together, but this is a solid, like really freaking good bronzer formula. If you want something that's inexpensive and you want a face and body bronzer, you will love this. It's so good. It's so good. It's one of my all time favorites. All right, let's go ahead and move on to what is in the tray here. Right away, I see my NARS Laguna. This is just a little mini bronzer. I never became totally obsessed with this bronzer. I like it. I just have other things that I actually like more. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It's actually a really, really good bronzer. It's just not totally my favorite. I do reach for it every once in a while, but it's just not my favorite. Now this I would place in my top 10 favorite bronzers for sure. This is from Fenty. These launched last summer. This is the Sun Stalker bronzer. This is my perfect bronzer shade. Nothing matches my skin tone quite like this bronzer. It is so perfect. That's really all I can say. It is just gorgeous. Again, in the shade Shady Biz, if you have light to medium skin with more of a golden or yellow undertone and you struggle with cool tone bronzers either pulling too red or you know warm bronzers pulling too orange or too pink or whatever the case may be this is perfect it is mid-tone it doesn't lean in either direction and it just works beautifully for my skin so I would suggest if you have that type of skin tone from Il Maquillage, I have one of their baked bronzers. Now what's cool about these is that they're actually on an Italian tile. This is one of the refills. I wanted the compact, but for some reason they were out of stock with this shade specifically, Wannabe, with the compact. So I bought the refill, whatever. But if you look, you can actually see that it is on, focus, it is on an Italian tile. It is like the coolest thing to me. I think this is so cool. But the formulation is 
fantastic. This makes your skin look so airbrushed. This one does pull a little cool on me, but I absolutely, I really do enjoy it. It gives my skin the most airbrushed, beautiful look. Next we have from Youngblood Cosmetics. This one I'm actually gonna do a review on in kind of like a series where I do an Instagram made me buy it because I did see an ad for Youngblood on Instagram. I was very intrigued behind the story of the brand and blah, 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 blah. But um, yeah, I pretty much only swatched this. I haven't really actually used it. I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more bronzy. This looks to be a little bit more of like a shimmery, very warm toned bronzer, as you can see. I don't know though, it might be very beautiful on the skin. I'll have to try it out. Then we have my favorite cream product of the moment. So this is what I have been loving recently. This is from Fenty. This is a Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade 02 Butter Biscuit. Again, another one that Robbie DeCristi put me onto and Kathleen Lights. I watched the review of this. They both also love Shady Biz. So I was like, well, I'm probably gonna love Butter Biscuit too. And I absolutely do. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is a product that I can can use as both a contour and a bronze. It does both of it for me and I love cream products. I'm really into that right now. I just feel like it gives my skin such a beautiful, plump, gorgeous, hydrated finish and I absolutely love stuff like this but this bronzer is per Perfection. We have a couple from Too Faced. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this. Another one that Raw Beauty Christy put me on to, because again, I feel like I keep reiterating this. We have the same type of deal with bronzers and how they pull on the skin. And she said this one didn't look too red or cool or whatever on her skin. So I immediately ran to the Ulta website and purchased it and I was not disappointed. This is a lot lighter, but it's buildable and it looks perfect on my skin. I would place this right up there with Shady Biz color wise, how it looks on my skin. And it is a beautiful formula and it smells like Cocoa Puffs. And the packaging is just so freaking cute. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. Now this one is more of like a shimmery finish. It does have some micro reflex of gold. Obviously it is much deeper than the Milk Chocolate. Let me put these two next to each other so you can see that there is quite the difference here. But I do mix these together sometimes when I wanna deepen it just a bit or I want a little bit more of like that golden, golden hour sheen. These two work beautifully together. Really good products. From CoverGirl, this is their True Blend Medium Baked Bronzer. I did a full face of CoverGirl about a year and a half ago, and I don't know why I don't reach for this that often, because in that video, I loved this. It blended beautifully. It is gorgeous for a baked product. Absolutely loved it. I don't know why I don't reach for this. I definitely need to play with it more because it is a really nice formula. If you like baked products and you want something that is way more on the affordable side, cruelty free, something from the drugstore, definitely entertain this. I think I got this on Amazon, no joke, for like maybe, I think it was less than five bucks if memory serves me correct, but it is a really good solid drugstore bronzer. From Kylie, I have the pressed bronzing powder in the shade Tequila Tan. I was obsessed with this for a hot minute when it first came out. I remember when she relaunched her reformulated bronzers and blushes and highlights. I am a huge fan of this formula. I think Kylie's blush bronzers and highlights are some of the best products that she sells. Um, I do like her brand a lot as far as formulation and color story and just kind of the overall kind of inspiration that she pulls for it. Like I do like her products. This is a beautiful bronzer. I, I really do like it. It isn't my first pick as much anymore because I do have things that I do love more, but this is a really, really pretty bronzer. Then we have one from Physician's Formula. This I have never put on my face and you're about to see why. This is a pretty much collector's item for me. This has New York imprinted on it. So <laughs> obviously that's why I purchased it. I keep it in my collection because again, it is a collector's item but it is so cool. I absolutely love this. I'm not quite sure how much of a bronzer this is. This is so light. I'm never gonna use it, and it's really just there because I like the imprint in it. <laughs> Last but not least, I have one of these Cover Effects Monochromatic Bronzer Duos. What is this one? This is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. This I have mixed feelings on. One minute, I absolutely love it. The next, I'm like, meh, it's okay. It really comes down to the application. I am so picky 
about the application when it comes to this, you have to use a very lightly packed duo fiber type brush. Otherwise it's going to look so insane on your skin. It's going to be hard to blend. It is extremely pigmented, but the finish is actually quite beautiful. So you can see this kind of like shimmery pan right here. Ooh, it is gorgeous when you mix the two together. I guess I just don't reach for it as often as I thought I would because of the fact that I do have to work a little bit to blend it. But the good thing about cover effects is that their formulas are five free. There's no talc, nothing that will agitate the skin, agitate redness. If you're someone who has rosacea or extremely sensitive skin, I would definitely consider cover effects products because they are perfect for that. Again, I do love the color and the formulation is very nice. You just have to be careful about how you apply it. So that's the downside to it. Let's go ahead and move on to this pile right here. So we're going to talk about some blushes. Right on top, I have my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Own Your Light. I recently included this in a beauty favorites video or like a monthly favorite video and it is still a favorite. I do have it on my channel cheeks today. It gives you the most gorgeous glow when you use it as a blush topper. The color is pretty intense. I don't obviously wouldn't say that this is good for a highlight for someone who has a very fair skin. You guys can see that there, but if you have medium to deeper skin, this is going to look gorgeous as a highlight on you. And again, if you're more fair light, this is a gorgeous blush topper. This is the most beautiful blush topper I have ever used. Like absolutely stunning. I am obsessed. I reach for this almost every single day that I'm doing my makeup. So good. It is worth checking out. Then I have one of the e.l.f. primer infused blushes. This is in the shade Always Peachy. Like I said, I'm not going to swatch this or anything right now because I do want to save it for my full face of e.l.f. video. Then we have from Origins. This is one of their Blooming Petal lip and cheek tints. This is in the shade Peony Peach. This is really pretty and honestly I don't know why I don't use this more. First off it looks like a flower in the packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is a really nice formula. I do like to pop it on the lips. I just haven't used it in a really really long time. This is one of those products that is really nice to kind of throw in your bag. You can pop it on the lips, you can freshen up, add a little color to the cheeks, super easy to use. It is a really nice formulation. That's why I like doing these videos is it kind of helps you go through your collection and you're like, oh, I forgot about you. I need to use you more. And that's what this one is. Then I have from ColourPop. This is one of their Super Shock Cheats. This is Cheats. Super Shock Cheeks. This is a matte formula. This is in the shade Get Laid. I think this launched when they did the Sweet Talk. I think that this was part of that spring launch last year, 2019. Absolutely beautiful blush. It's a very nice formula. I do like that it is matte. I don't reach for it a ton because it is a little intense in color. I do like it. It's pretty. I just not my all-time favorite, you know? It's worth keeping in my collection. I just don't reach for it all the time. I have one of these mini NARS again. This is in the shade Orgasm. I'm not going to drone on too much about this. If anyone has watched anything to do with beauty videos in the last how many ever years, you've probably heard a lot about this and you're probably sick of hearing about it. So yeah, there's that. I have another little mini from Too Faced. I think I got this for free with an order from Ulta and I absolutely love it. Again, super cute with the packaging from Too Faced. It does smell like peach. It smells, or apricot I should say, peach, whatever. It smells really good, but you've just got like a duo a little guy here. You've got a highlighty shade and then you've got this kind of apricot peach shade. Yeah, apricot in the act is the name. This is really pretty on the cheeks too. I do like this. I do like a lot of Too Faced products. From ColourPop, this is is a collection that I think launched just this past spring. It was exclusive to Ulta. This is the Meteor Right Pressed Powder Blush. You guys, this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. The shade is just spot on. It is perfect. Literally everything I look for in a blush. And I love this packaging. So pretty. I do have the eyeshadow palette that also launched as well, which is gorgeous. Love that palette. And I don't know why I didn't do dedicated review to this because it is stunning, but this blush shade is just perfection. And I love that there's a little mirror in this. So beautiful packaging, perfect blush shade, beautiful formulation. 
Obviously, ColourPop tends to kill it all the time, so love that. From NARS, this is actually something that I got from Allure, like in an Allure beauty box, I think it was. When you first sign up or something, they always send you like a full-size product, and this is what they sent me. And oh my goodness, I love this formula. It reminds me of the Amorizi highlight from ABH. It is very similar to that, um, where it doesn't really have any kick up. It almost feels like it's like a baked gel, if that makes any sense. So gorgeous, I love using this as a highlight, but mixing these two together, I was actually shocked at how much I loved this shade on my cheeks. It's a little bit on the bright side, but it is gorgeous. This is in the shade Adoration, and the full name of this product is their Dual Intensity Blush, in case you're interested in looking into this, but the formula is gorgeous. I have actually contemplated buying other colors because I do love it, so it's one of my favorite products from NARS. I have a few uh, products from Tarte. This was actually sent to me in PR. They sent this to me in their uh, Happy Birthday collection. Again, first off, can we talk about how cute this packaging is adorable, but it has one of their Amazonian clay blushes on the inside. If you want a very long wearing blush, matte blush, definitely check out this formula. It is really good. This is in the shade B Day Bay. Really nice blush. Then we have two of the blushes, uh, little trios that came in there. Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Palette. I did give one away to my sister, but these two, Ooh, do I love these. This one especially, this one is my favorite. I love the packaging, like how cute is this? It's so compact and you've got the three products, you've got a mirror, boom, but this highlight and these blushes, girl, right up my alley, love. Love, love, love this formulation. I think you can actually still get these and they might actually be on sale. This is the deeper one, I love this too. I like to use this on the eyes. Ooh, it's like a chocolate cherry, absolute gorgeous shimmer shade, and these blushes are really pretty too. I love, 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 love those. Did I talk about this one already? The El Maquillage, the blush? I can't remember if I did. Anyways, it's another baked blush in case I forgot. This is in the shade Bootylicious, another one where I wanted the compact, but they were sold out of the shade and the compact together. So weird, but Baked blush, absolutely gorgeous, love that. We have from Sigma, this is like the original Corde Rosa blush. Now this one is extremely similar to the ColourPop blush. To me, they almost look exactly the same. This one's a little bit more rosy, a little bit deeper in color, but they are almost identical. And I do love, love this blush. Couple things from Kylie. We have her blush and highlight duo. This launched with her 2019 holiday collection. We have the blush in the shade Santa's Wifey and then a highlighter in the shade Sexy Santa. This is actually a really pretty combo on the cheeks. I like that it's versatile. You can highlight the cheeks. You can turn the blush a little bit more shimmery, gorgeous. Again, I really do like Kylie's blush and bronzer formulation. Then I have her blush in the shade We're Going Shopping right here, if I can open the packaging. This one I just bought this past Christmas. I think it was maybe even actually over Black Friday when they were doing that huge sale. I think these were like 10 bucks. So I picked up this shade because I just love, love the formula. Then I've got an unmarked shade and I can't remember for the life of me what this one is called. I purchased it with her Valentine's collection. I think it was last year and they shipped it to me with no info on the back, which is unfortunate, but look how beautiful this color is. And then last but not least, I have the shade Kitten Baby, which is gorgeous as well. Can you tell I have a type when it comes to blush? I like my coral and my peach shades. And then from Cover Effects, this is their monochromatic blush duo, obviously with the matte and shimmer. This is in the shade Pink Dahlia. I don't know why I didn't go for the peach shade because they have a peach shade, Whatever, I think I just wanted something a little bit different. It is beautiful. Again, the same rules apply as with the bronzer. You have to be very careful with how you apply this, but it is very gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and move on to this pile right here. This is more of like my palettes and some more cream products. Right away in the front, this is from Smashbox. This is one of the 2019 holiday. This is the Shine Like the Star You Are. At first, I hated this, and I think I actually included it in like 
a fails monthly favorite portion, if that makes any sense. But I actually ended up falling in love with it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed. I don't know if my skin was just not on my side that day when I tried it, but I do actually really love this. It's super pretty. It does have a lot of shine to it, but I do love that kind of glass, glowy glass skin look. And it's really pretty. I actually did end up falling in love with it. The packaging is a little bit bulky, but whatever. I do like it. And I think that the formula is really nice. So I changed my mind on this one. This is a blush trio from Morphe. I think I actually have two of these. Yes, I do. We'll talk about both of them. So this one, I think I got in a mystery box. This one is the blush trio pop of pink. Again, usually I don't go for pink blushes. It's still pretty. I don't even know if I've used or swatched this. Um, it's pretty. I just don't see myself reaching for these shades all the time. I definitely have to play with it and use it more, but I do like this formulation because this one I have tried. Um, this one is a blush and highlighter duo actually. Okay, it's not a palette, it's a blush and highlight duo. I was wrong. But this one I actually really like. This is gorgeous. You've got the shade Spirit for the blush and Spark for the highlight. Love this, love, love, love this. Very good. We have the Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go Auto Balm Palette. I have mixed feelings about the balm. I have tried some things that I love and then some other things I'm like, mm, it's okay, but the main reason why I purchased this is because these are all street names in New York City. So you have Houston Street, Bourbon Street, Bleecker, and Fifth. And it really is actually a pretty collection of shades. Very nice for an on-the-go type palette. I hope my camera is focusing so you can see this here. It is really nice. It's cute and I really do like the packaging, so we've been holding on to that guy. A couple of palettes from Alamar Cosmetics. I really do love this formula. When I decide to dip into this blush, I become obsessed and I'm like super dedicated to it. This is the Fair Light Blush Trio, Color It Blush Trio. And you've got the shades Castaway, Par Parizo, and Scorcher. Gorgeous. I brought this to Florida with me actually because it just screams summertime and I really love the formulation. And then I do have the bronzer palette. This is the medium tan. I don't know why I picked the one that was darker. I think the one that was light is just a little too light. I wanted something a little bit darker, but this one has I'm Woke for the brightening shade, Solterra as the bronzer, and then we have Always Summer. Obviously a lot deeper than what I would usually have, but what I love about these is that they make fantastic eyeshadows. So good. So if you just want like a bronzer, bronzer and your contour and eyeshadow, everything kind of all in one, under eye brightener, setting powder, boom, you've got it all in this one palette and it does it all with just these three pans. It's supposed to be formulated with hyaluronic acid, but it's literally the last ingredient in the formula. And if you watch my videos before, y'all know how I feel about that. It is a nice formula and it blends beautifully. This is a bronzer from NARS that I recently did do a review on. This is their bronzing powder in the shade Paradise Found. I was actually shocked to see the reviews on this product. A lot of people did not like this bronzer and I beg to differ, I absolutely love it. There was a gold overspray on here that did kind of go away pretty quickly and I actually wish that the gold would have been actually more embedded in the formula. I think it made it very unique. It looked beautiful on the skin. I mean, this was like golden hour dreams. Like if you wanted your makeup to be golden hour, this did it for you. The formulation is still really pretty and I really like the bronzer and I do use it quite a bit. So I like it and the packaging, like seriously, look at this, gorgeous. We have a couple of blush palettes from BH Cosmetics. I love these, that's all I can say. I have the orange chocolate truffle and then I have the vanilla peach truffle. These just launched earlier this year and I love them. They're so good and they do kind of smell sweet like white chocolate. At first I didn't think they did, but now I do. I don't know, change my mind. This one is my favorite of the quads. This is the orange chocolate. It's just right up my alley with the shades. I can mix all four of these together and just get the most beautiful blush. Then we have the vanilla peach, which this one is really pretty too, but you've got these kind of pops of pink right here, but these two shades, ooh, so good. Again, they are beautiful. I absolutely love them. Solid blush palettes. BH Cosmetics just makes such good affordable products. This is from Natasha Denona, and this is really the only Natasha Denona product that I own as of yet, spoiler. I did do a dedicated review on this. This is pretty, it's just a little, 
a little intense for me. Like this very dark blush shade right here. Oh my goodness, I would never use this. <laughs> never, never, never. I do like though that this is made to be compatible with multiple different skin tones. So that is amazing. But let me tell you, when you put down the glow cream base and then you top the extreme glow on top of it, wow. And this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you what this does. So this is the base. I'm just gonna do it right here. So you lay this base down and you put this powder glow on top of it. I mean, like, look how absolutely stunning that is. It is gorgeous and I'm stupid and I didn't know that those two were supposed to be layered together when I did my review and people were like, uh, girl, those are meant to be layered. My bad, but I'm glad someone said something. This blush shade right here is very pretty. I just don't reach for this. It's not as versatile as some of my other products. The packaging is beautiful, but Again, it's just not my favorite type of shades. Then from Hourglass, this is one of their ambient editing or ambient lighting edit. This is volume three. Um, this one has like a bronzer in it, a blush, a finishing powder, a strobing powder. You guys get the gist. You've seen these before. This is beautiful. I am a huge fan of Hourglass products. I love their concealer. I love their translucent veil setting powder. I love their caution mascara. And I do absolutely love this as well super pretty. It just gives you the most soft, diffused, light glow. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's quickly touch on these right here. This is a ColourPop blush stick. This looked totally different online when I ordered it. One of those colors, again, that I'm probably never gonna use. Like this is just way, way too dark for me. If this was like a lip product as well, like a lip and cheek tint, maybe I could use it, but the shade is just way, like way, 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 way too much way too much. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I clicked on the wrong product, but this is just not, not for me. We have my Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I have ranted and raved about this product. This is one of my favorite cream matte bronzers. So good. This is in the shade Bake. Talked about that one a lot before. I have two of the Glossier Cloud Paints. These are my favorites to mix together. So I have the shade Beam, and then I also have the shade Dusk. These two mixed together just make the most beautiful, perfect, just kind of peachy, rosy, mid-tone blush. And I love this formula. Another one that if you are afraid of cream products and you're afraid that it's just gonna be way too intense, check these out. And they're perfect for no makeup makeup days. They're long wearing, they're absolutely gorgeous. A couple of products from Physicians Formula. This is their Dewy Blush Elixir. I have ranted and raved about this product before. This is, what is it? In the shade Gorgeous Peach. Love this formula. It does come in a glass container, which is awesome. If you're looking for an affordable drugstore cream product that is clean, I can't suggest this one. Enough. Same goes for this bronzing stick right here. This is a total dupe for the Milk bronzer right here. This one is a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more of like a natural skin finish versus being matte, but the shade is perfect. This is, I think this is in the shade Toffee, I believe, but this bronzing stick is fantastic. It is buildable and it blends gorgeously. And then we have from Grande Cosmetics. This is a newer product, but there is something very special. This is what I have on my cheeks today. I have the highlight on as well. This is the Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush. Now, I don't know how much there is an actual like clinical plumping effect going on, but I can tell you that there is something about this formula that gives your cheeks a juicy, plumpy look and it's just perfection. This is in the shade Sweet Peach. You've got this kind of giant doe foot applicator and it blends effortlessly. You need just a little bit, doot, 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 blend it out and it's just gorgeous. I am obsessed with this formula. This is a cream product that I cannot stop reaching for. It is awesome. From Cover Effects, I have the Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the shade Sunset. I think I got this as like a free gift or something from BoxyCharm. I've used it a couple of times. As you can tell, it has the old packaging. They did kind of repackage this, but it is really pretty on the cheeks. And it is cool that like you can mix it into like a moisturizer. You know, you can put it on the body. You can make your own cream product. You could add it into a foundation that might be just slightly too light for your skin if you wanna deepen it and give it just more of like a bronzing effect. It is very versatile. I think this is an awesome concept. 
I just haven't played with it enough. And now I want to, now that I'm thinking out loud with all the ways that you can use it. All right, so we just have a couple more piles to go quickly from BH Cosmetics. This is the Studio Pro Contour Palette. The reason why I'm including this is because it's definitely a bronzing palette as well. I think that this goes for like $12. And I will tell you, as far as an affordable palette, you get an extreme bang for your buck. If you are looking for something like this, or you're a beginning makeup artist and you need something to add to your kit, oh my goodness, this is such a steal and it caters to so many different skin tones and the formulation on this is stunning. It is fantastic. I forget about this a lot. I do love this so much. I used to use the crap out of this shade right here as well as this one. I have used this to brighten the under eyes. It's really cool. It's really cool. I love this kit and it's super affordable. Then I have the Nude Blush Palette, same type of thing from BH Cosmetics. Look at this. If you love nude peachy blushes for like $12 and you get 10 colors, I mean seriously, come on. BH Cosmetics I think is the OG of just like affordable bomb ass makeup, like just so good. Then we have from Pacifica, this is something that I got recently, this is a highlighter and blush duo. The highlighter in here is definitely what I believe to be too deep. A commenter told me on my video when I did my Ipsy unboxing that I actually would be able to pull this off as a highlight. I don't know, I've swatched it before, I feel like it might leave like a cast, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. But this formula is beautiful. It is super soft, I have used it on the cheeks, blends gorgeously. One of the first products from Pacifica that has actually impressed me, I've tried quite a bit of them before, didn't love it, didn't love 90% of it. This is the exception to that. This is from Pure Cosmetics. This is their Sculptor Palette. This is a, another product I believe I got in a BoxyCharm. Very deep shades. This is one I don't know why I hold on to. I literally never reach for this. It's not bad, it's just the colors are just a little too deep, so I think I should just I guess we're turning this into somewhat of a declutter. I'm gonna get rid of that. BH Cosmetics Six Color Baked Bronzer and Highlighter Kit. Um, obviously I'm showing this to you because it has bronzers in it and I recently reviewed this on my channel and I am obsessed with these two bronzers. They are gorgeous. And let me add in the highlight, girl. Oh my goodness, if you didn't check out that video, I will link it down below. But wow, this is a steal. I think this is on sale for $14. Beautiful, and look at the packaging, how cute. Blends gorgeously, it looks so airbrushed on the skin. Same thing goes for this, this is the Bellini Six Pan Blush Palette. Same thing that just recently launched from BH. Look at these colors, oh my goodness. It's looking a little bit more pink on screen. It's definitely more obviously on the peachy side, this formulation as well. Gorgeous. This is the Tardist Pro Glow and Blush Palette. This was a favorite of mine for a really long time. When this launched, oh my goodness, I was obsessed. I did a dedicated review to this. The bronzer in here is actually just beautiful. And I do love the blushes as well. This highlight up here is stunning. This is a solid palette. I think you can still get this. I believe it's still some of that Tarte sells. This is a gorgeous, Gorgeous palette. And then finally, last but not least, I have my Physicians Formula Ultimate Moo Remover Butter Collection. And again, the reason why I'm showing you this is because what is so cool about this, and I've talked about it on my channel before, it literally has like every shade of butter bronzer in it, highlight, and I think, yes, over here is the blushes. Like, look at this. I think I got this whole thing for like $20. In Sane, what comes in this, but if you love the butter bronzer formula, obviously if you can get your hands on this kit, it is so worth it, because it gives you everything. You've got eyeshadows, blush, bronzer, highlight, and I think there's a lip. Yes, there is a lip palette in this as well. Smells delightful. It smells like the butter bronzer, beautiful formulation, and I'm still a fan. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you own any of these. I'm just gonna talk to you guys like this because I don't feel like moving my camera around again. But let me know if we share any of the same products, any of the same favorites, or if this video has inspired you to try out any of these other beautiful formulas I have talked about. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Share it. It helps me so, so much. And of course, if you like the content, please be sure to hit subscribe. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.